Hi, my name is Atila Edwards. I'm a level two MT technician at Oregon Washington Laboratories. I've been doing about MT testing for about two years. And today I'm gonna to be doing magnetic particle testing on this plate to identify any flaws that we may see. So this is the equipment that I use to do this. This is a Magyo. This will create a magnetic field on the plate. This is a pie gauge. This will show the direction of the magnetic field. This is a puffer. This will blow off any excess particles that we have. This is a Gauss meter. This will show that a part is magnetized or ferromagnetic. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's going from, I mean, this one is really magnetized, north to south. And then this is a 10 pound weight. This will help me calibrate my mag yoke to make sure that it's working properly. And this are the particles I'll be using. They're dry powder. And this is a ski lift thing. Before I get started on the plate, I have to make sure that my equipment functions properly. So this is a 10 pound weight. We're gonna use this to make sure that the mag yoke can actually pull uh, the particles when it gets to the plate. So that worked. Now I'm gonna get started. And first you wanna make sure that your part is clean. It's not wet, it's dry. There's no residue. If there is, this won't work properly or you'll get false flaws or indications. So now I'm gonna begin testing on the plate. One thing you wanna remember is that you wanna do zero and 90. And you wanna have overlap to make sure you're not missing anything. When you're applying the particles, you don't wanna just dump a whole bunch on there. You just kinda of wanna feather it on there. And all I'm doing is making my way down the well to make sure I'm not seeing anything. Looks good. Now I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Blowing off any excess particles that I have. And it looks like I have found a flaw or a disturbance in the force. You can see it better if I put this flashlight on here and it's right here. So that concludes our testing for today. And um, typically in the field, I would give the customer the report that would talk about my findings. And um, MT is one of many methods used in MDT. And in order to get a certification like mine, you would need in the field experience as well as classroom experience. And I mean, I've been doing this for about two years now and I've been traveling a lot. I mean, you do a lot of traveling. And I know that you saw me do testing on this plate, but I do testing on pipelines, bridges, tanks, all that sort of stuff. So anything that, where there's a weld, you'll find me. I mean, I just got tired of delivering pizza, so I discovered this field and I really enjoy it and I think you would too, so give it a try.